Hi, welcome to another video. So, a while back, I had covered Fragments, which was a fully free coder, and it didn't have any rate limits, and you could use models like Claude Sonnet for free. Recently, I saw that it has gotten some even more new upgrades, and I thought I'd talk a bit about that, as I find it really awesome. So, if you don't know about Fragments, then it's an open-source artifacts thing that is made by E2B, which is an online sandbox company. It's actually quite cool. But one of the main features of it is their demo site that gives you the option to use a ton of models for free. And there are literally no rate limits. You can just come here, and you'll see all these ton of models that you can use, including 3.7 Sonnet and O3 Mini, and everything like that, which is great. It even has GPT 4.5. Yes, you're hearing that right. You can even use GPT 4.5 with it for free, which is insane. This is an open source project, which means you can also host it locally for free with your API keys. And it's basically like a clone of V0. You can easily host it locally and use it. It can build projects using Next.js, Python, Streamlit, and Gradio, which is all pretty good. To host it locally, you do need to use an API key from E2B, but you can get the API key for free from them. So let's try it out from this demo first, and then I'll show you how you can install it locally as well. First of all, when you come over here, you'll see this page. This UI is a little different from the last time we saw this. Anyway, over here, we have multiple options. First, we have the Persona option. You can use this to specify what you want to do. For example, if you want to create a Next.js app, you'll select the Next.js option. If you want to create a Python app, you can select the Python option, and so on. You can also select the Auto Persona, which will automatically choose the best persona based on your prompt. Apart from this, we have the main option, which is the model option. Here, you can see a bunch of model options that you can use, like O3 Mini, GPT-4.0, Claude 3.7 Sonnet, DeepSeek, and many others. It's amazing that people can use these models for free. I mean, Bolt and V0 cost money to use above a certain limit, which is why, even though I like it, I don't use it. But this is something people can actually use for free. Aside from this, you can set up everything like temperature, max tokens, and stuff like that. This is really handy if you prefer using a model with specific settings. Another thing you can do is attach images, which is also amazing. Personally, when I create stuff, I often add images for inspiration, and that usually gives me really good results. So, that's a super cool option. Now, let's try to do something with it. But, before we do that, I want to take a quick break to tell you about Dart AI, which is something that's been a game changer for my workflow lately. It's an AI-powered project management tool that's honestly quite amazing. You can generate entire project plans from a simple prompt, detect duplicate tasks automatically, create subtasks, and, this is the coolest part, you can actually assign tasks to the AI itself, and it will complete them for you. You can use it to generate blog posts, research topics, and even create thumbnails without having to do the work yourself. It's pretty insane how good it is. The best part? It's completely free for teams up to four people. If you need more, they have $8 and $12 plans with even more features. Dart also has some great integrations. You can connect it with GitHub to link issues and PRs, integrate with Slack and Discord for updates, and even use their API to build custom workflows. If you're working on projects of any kind, you should really give Dart a try. It's built from the ground up with AI in mind, and it shows in how seamlessly everything works. Check out the link in the description 
to get started. It's free, so you've got nothing to lose. And trust me, it'll change how you manage your projects. Now, back to the video. Let's ask it to make a simple image cropper tool where I can upload images and edit the images and crop them. I want to see if it's able to do this or not. I'm using the GPT 4.5 model as that's the best one here. Let's send it and see if it can do this or not. Okay, it's working on it now. Let's wait a bit and it's done. This looks pretty good. It has what we wanted and it's working well. You can also check the code here. It looks pretty solid, right? You can copy the code from here and you can also download it, which is a nice feature. If you want to share what you've created, you can use this URL and send it to someone and they'll be able to view it, which is really convenient. Another option is the deploy to E2B option, which will allow you to share this thing on a sandbox, which is kind of great. Now, let's ask it to fix some visual and other issues we notice here. It's working on that now. If we wait a bit, there, it's done. Looks pretty good. That's how you can make changes to it, which is also awesome. You can also use O3 Mini or any other model. I prefer using the Claude 3.7 Sonnet model because it works best for me, and it's much faster than O3 as well. Next, let's try to create something with an image. Let's give it this design of a landing page and ask it to create a replica of the page. Let's send it and see. Okay, it's working on it now. Let's wait a bit. And it's done. Let's open this in a new tab by copying the URL. Okay, this looks really good. Obviously, it doesn't have the images and everything, but if we add those, it should look great. So, this is super cool if you want to attach a mock-up or screenshot and maybe convert that, which is amazing. Apart from this, you can also host it locally. Now, let me show you how to do that. To host it locally, just go to their GitHub page, copy the repo URL, and clone it to your computer. Once you've done that, just CD into the folder and run the npm install command to get the dependencies installed. Once that's done, Create a new .env file and enter the E2B API key and the provider API key like shown here. E2B offers a free API that allows you to create sandboxes for free, so you can use that. Once you've set that up, you can start using it. To run it, just execute npm run dev. And this will start the application. Go to the localhost URL it provides and you'll be able to use it easily. This is amazing. I think the artifacts were already good, but now it's actually reliable. It works fine, and it doesn't terminate randomly like it used to in the previous version. It is also very good and smooth to use. Plus, the model catalog is also cool. Personally, I like using it offline as well. I think this is a great option for people to try out because it's free and that's always a good thing. The hosted demo surely holds potential, as you can use it to generate some boilerplate code at first, and then just download it and use it, which is kinda amazing. The option is pretty amazing to use, as it makes everything free for use. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.